everyone, hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are taking you along to a very special event here in New Orleans at the Audubon Aquarium and Insectarium downtown. We are taking you along to Animal Crossing New Horizons Aquarium Tour here at the Audubon Aquarium here in New Orleans. Familiar characters are coming to the Audubon Aquarium this summer to promote one of the hottest and most popular video games from the Nintendo company. So this aquarium tour is gonna to be going on from July 21st to September 14th. But the stamp rallies are only on the weekends, guys. I'm gonna give you the dates of the stamp rallies. They're gonna be on the screen right below so you can see when the stamp rally is gonna be here at the Order of an Aquarium and Insectarium. We highly suggest you come out. This is so much fun for people that love Nintendo. You're gonna love this event. Even if you don't love Nintendo and you love the Audubon Institute, you are gonna have fun because you're gonna meet all the cute little characters. And remember, make sure you get your stamp card because you're gonna get a prize at the end. So we're here this weekend for the first stamp rally, July 27th and July 28th here at the Audubon Aquarium. We are so excited to show you two days. It's gonna be a great time. It is so hands-on. You're gonna learn so much. It's interactive and it is just one of the most beautiful places here in our city that you can visit. So we hope you have a great time with us and we hope to see you here at the Audubon Aquarium and Insectarium enjoying the New Horizons Animal Crossing tour. We're going up and let's go have a great time. This remodel is still beautiful. Check out our video when we came here before during the media event for this reopening. And let me tell you, it's beautiful then and it's still beautiful now. Also, we want to mention everything is handicap accessible in here. So you do not have to take the stairs, obviously, if you do not do it. There is elevators and it is so accommodating and it's so beautiful. You're going to have a great time with us today. Thank you, Audubon Institute, for our tickets. We're excited to have a great day with you guys. Actually, a great weekend. We're going to be here the whole entire weekend. We're getting our picture done. So guys, this is going to be a great day. We love Audubon Institute and we're so honored to have this in our city of New Orleans. So you guys ready to go? And you know what, hon? We're back in the Insectarium and what does that mean, hon? I think we have to eat bugs today. Bug have you delicious. guys ever eaten a bug? Have you seen our previous video for the reopening of the Insectarium and Aquarium? You know that Jen and Aaron had bugs. But guess what? We don't want to do any more spoiler alerts. We're going to link that video with this video as well so you can see when we were here for the grand reopening. But, hon, I think today's our day. Pray for me because I'm about to eat a bug. Welcome to Bug Appetite. That's right. Last time you didn't have any bugs. Huh? Yes. Today is my time. Okay, and it's time okay. Me, today it's him. Hello again, the two of you. Yes. Hey, hey but yes, yes, I do. What's going yes. on? Good to yes. see you. Yeah, good to see you too. You want to try a bug today? Yeah, it's my turn. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to so. try a chocolate chirp too. Chocolate chirp. Okay, I'll take a chocolate chirp, chirp for me first. And, okay. and she, hey, look, I have three bugs on mine. Three? Oh. This is not just a one bugger. It's the a three bugger. The people behind us are staring at you and their like face is open, their mouth is open wide. <laughs> I don't want to ask them to, you know, I didn't ask them to be on camera, but it's so funny to see their expression watching him yes. to eat three bugs. These amazing people are watching him eat his bugs and their face was priceless. So I take it you guys will not be eating any bugs today? No. <laughs> Absolutely well, if you try the chocolate chirp and you love chocolate chip cookies, that might help a little bit with the taste. No. <laughs> yeah, that was my face originally when we came here for the first video, but once I tried it, I was like, okay, it could be worse. All right, so I guess we we'll go back to watching him eat his yes. chocolate chip cookies. Yes. So I still got my cookie, and guess what? We're here with the chef. She actually made these today. I did. I made the cookies, yes. Yeah. And we met her last time we were here. Check out that video. Once again, links are going to be down below. But now it's my turn to try the three bug cookie. Let's go. Three bugs. <laughs> mm. 
That's a good. Right? Uh, that would be enough. Still no. Huh? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you. Maybe good luck next with time. your bug eating. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, actually. You like it? I would it? do it again. Okay. So she made an amazing cookie. So I'm about to have my chocolate chirp. I actually like this. The last time we were here at the grand reopening. So you guys are ready? Be prepared. There is going to be a crunch. The bugs are pretty decent size. But hey, right? We're adventurous and Aaron enjoyed it. I enjoyed it last time. So let's go. Look at her fighting with it. You don't really taste them. It's just the idea that you got bugs in your mouth. Yeah, it's just the idea. You got to get over the concept. But once you get over the concept, you're good. So, shout out to the best chef. We love you. Yep, so I got the stamp rally. Find these characters. So we got to find, and one's right behind us, I think. <gasps> right over there. Oh my Ooh, God. Okay. So once we meet them, we get our stamp, which you just stamped it. We got three more to go. We got Tom Nook, Costco, and Blathers. Oh. Yes, Animal Crossing. I know there's a lot of people who love this, so it's great that they have this here at the aquarium. This is Isabel. Hey, Izzy. Isn't Izzy so cute? You ready for your step rally? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I don't even have to make her do it. She's just jumping around. Yes, we're here with our friends. We're going to tell you a little more about them in a little bit. We ran into them. We're excited. They're here to have fun with us at the stamp rally. We're here with the Louisiana Cosplays too. Great right there! <laughs> And another one. Hi. We got two stamp. stamps, guys. So we got our Tom Nook stamp. Oh, he's so cute. They're all so cute. We can't wait to meet the rest of the day. The Oregon Aquarium is rated the second best aquarium in the country. So guys, come to New Orleans. When you come visit, come check out the Audubon Insectarium and Aquarium. Also check out the Audubon Zoo. That is the top rated in the country as well. Let's go have a great time. We're going to meet more characters. This is New Orleans. Gotta have the alligators. You're so cute, baby alligator. We love you. You're a cutie pie. She's like, I'm watching you. We I'm got going a little for baby alligators in here. He's gonna put a spell on you. Oh, he definitely is. And now you're his. I love alligators. Hey, Chop. That's our man Chop to us over there. We were showing somebody before how, how to say chop to us. It's not tea chop or chirop, but it's chop, like you're cutting up something. Now we're going to life in the Gulf, but we're mainly just following the cosplayers today. Say, this has got to show myself getting stamped. We got three of the four. We're missing only one now, and that's Pascal. So we got flowers, number three. We only got one more to go, and then we have our staff rally party. Fully completed with meeting all the characters. What do you guys think, guys? Isn't this so cute? It's so much fun. Remember, this is going on for several weekends here in New Orleans at the Audubon Aquarium and Insectarium. We're going to link all the information below. So you guys having a great time? With yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. This is awesome, right? Yes. What is your favorite thing besides all your friends, the cosplayers, are here today? Animal Crossing. One more time. Oh, hey. Here comes Florence. Oh. Can we help you? Is John going to help you? Oh. Dad, Cooper Photography saved the day. Oh, he saved my life. Right into the, uh, right into the wall. Well, hon, I'm glad you're alive and you get to come home with me. Yes. He saved you. I'm done with you. We used to be friends. We used to be pals. <laughs> Not anymore. You can actually get these Animal Crossing wallpapers. So use the QR code, get the wallpapers in your life, because this is an amazing part of this whole aquarium tour through Animal Crossing New Horizons. You're so cute. I will play with you all day. Aww, you want to play? What game do you want to play? Tell us, what game? Tell me. Yeah, you're so 
so cute. Oh, it's so cute. You got a friend. You got a friend in me. So, sir, what is that up there? That is a hyacinth frog. That's what I thought. Yeah, so the hyacinth frog is the largest species of flighted parrot in the world. Hey, buddy. Hi, Hey, You know where our camera is. It's like a photogenic. <laughs> Look at his tail feathers. Yes, you're welcome to touch it. The news of the birds of South oh, America is really in the rainforest. Oh, you just really a camera home. Yeah, it's a bird. You turned all the way around. Hi, cutie. So they can get to be about five feet in their wingspan, but only a few pounds. Look at so, him. Uh, <laughs> He's so cute. Hi, bud. Cool. And sometimes he'll bob his head for you. Really? Oh. Yeah, I'll do a little bit. Does he talk? He does not talk, but he has the ability to mimic human sounds. Oh, okay. Um, Hi, cutie. Yeah. So he actually has a preference for women. Oh, uh, you like women. Because all of his keepers are women. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, he really has a preference for cameras. Uh-huh. You like cameras too, cutie. You do. So we are in the rainforest right now, right? So this is the Amazon habitat. Okay. Um, we have uh, lots of species of tropical birds and all the fish and such that you see are going to be native. That's no going on. And we ran into our friends, the Louisiana Cosplayers! Hi there! Uh, Louisiana Cosplayers is a local cosplay community who makes and wears costumes together for fun. We found out that this year's aquarium tour was going to feature Animal Crossing, so a lot of us dressed to the theme. Uh, it's an all-ages, family-friendly group, but if you're interested in the Animal Crossing uh, aquarium tour, it's going all over the country. We're so lucky to have it here in our city. So if you get a chance, come by. It's included with your aquarium ticket, and you can even participate in stamp rallies and get a fun prize and learn all kinds of cool stuff about the animals that are already here. Yes. So you guys have to say anything else because she's good. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys having a great time? It's been so amazing. The aquarium staff is always so kind to us. We come every year for what we call Aquaricon. Uh, it's a great way for us to beat the heat and all get together and do something family friendly and oriented that we can all enjoy together inside. <laughs> Because gosh, it does be hot out there. Oh, Louisiana it be weather. Hot. So, if you're ever interested in costuming or cosplay in general, like anime culture, feel free to join Louisiana Cosplayers on Facebook. We have a website, and we also have an Instagram where we post updates where we do events like this all the time. Our next is at the zoo. <gasps> the zoo. Yeah, we just came September. from the zoo. I think we'll have to stay in contact because we want to visit you guys at the zoo too. Oh, please do. It's always so fun. We love the Audubon staff and family. I've been a member my whole life. So anytime I can come by and support the Audubon Institute, I am so excited to do it. Yes. And it all goes back to the zoo, the aquarium, the insectarium, and, and conservation. conservation. Absolutely. Yes. Especially locally. They're very into our local wildlife conservation. Yes, they and they're a part of so many like programs across the country for breeding and helping endangered species. Yes, that's a huge, huge part too, because so many species are going extinct now. Absolutely. And we need their help. So thank you to the Waterman Institute for everything that you guys yes, thank do. Thank you for putting this on. We've yes. all loved it so much. Yes. And if you're in the area, definitely stop by. It goes through September, I think. Yes, it does. Uh, it's a couple of weekends. Mm -hmm. And we are going, hopefully we will be back because we can't get enough of the Audubon Institute. Yeah. Thank you to Louisiana Cosplayers for hanging out with us. Oh, thank you. Shout That's out so to fun. Harley, Don yeah. Cooper. Are you ready to see more? Let's go. Let's do it. Halloween. Hey, everybody. Hey, hello, 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 hello. That's what we're going to do here. And you don't get the hide either. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Getting our last stamp. Yes, we got all four. And day one complete. Yes. Day <laughs> one, all four stamps for Animal Crossing characters. So tomorrow we can focus on the aquarium. Yes. So everyone, we just got our four stamps for the Animal Crossing characters, and we're gonna find out what our prize is. And we got the completion stamp. We got a turtle completion stamp. How cute. And then we get a button. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we get to pick one button. Isabel, Tom, Nook, or Blab. I'll get oh. mine tomorrow. 
That's gonna be tough. What are we picking, hon? We like Isabel. Okay, let's do Isabel. Well, tomorrow we'll pick another one. So guys, we are complete. The day one of the stamp rally here at the Audubon Aquarium and Insectarium. We also got our completion stamp, the turtle, and we have our completion button with Isabel. Hope you guys enjoyed day one. Thank you to the Audubon Institute. So right now, we are gonna bring you along to day two. Let's go. Yesterday we were with our friends, the Louisiana Cosplayers. Today we are with our friends, the LA Furs. We're getting our picture done. Day two, guys. Let's go have a great time. You ready to eat some bugs? Ready to eat some bugs on day two of it. Look at all the beautiful bugs here. And the, what you realize when you come to a place like this, the amount of color that is in each bug. That there's so so much variety, so much vividness in the amount of color you see here. This is crazy. They're so cute, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Got one crawling, another one at the bottom. Aww. I always liked bugs as a kid. Great, and you got T. David's got screens in here, hey, telling you about the bugs crawling through here. Here's one thing I'm realizing: it's tough to be a bug. They're showing an ant colony here. You can actually see the ants working. That's embarrassing. I don't want to do that with my hands. That was fun. That was good. Thank you. You can see ants actually working, and they explain to you the type of ants. You got the queen ant, the worker ant, and the repletes, which are the special workers that store food. So hey. This is awesome. I love coming here and learning about all this sort of thing. This is the leaf beetle, and you can barely see him. He looks so camouflaged inside this leaf here. But he is there and ready to look great just for you here at the Ottoman Insectarium. And this is another one dedicated to everything from butterflies to octopods to craw to like crawfish and things of that sort. And for example, you see the crayfish right there, little crawfish. That is one giant beetle. I guess that's why he's a Goliath beetle. This is an example of the different beetle armors, as you see here. And then, you can see Jen already Hi guys. in her armor. How do I look? Yes, her exoskeleton, ready to be protected from the world. Well, we're about to build a bug. We have the Louisiana swamps, so we're gonna pick swamps. Okay. And who should we pick? I'm gonna go with pick, something. No, no, you gotta pick a different body parts. You gotta pick an abdomen. What abdomen do you want? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna select an abdomen. For her bug. And they give descriptions on what they're good at. For example, we're selecting the thorax right now and dragonfly thoraxes are powerful and skillful flyers that use their spinned legs for capturing flying insects in midair. And you can choose different options and they'll tell you about them. The longhorn beetle, I always like the longhorn beetle. All right, I'm gonna go with that one. Now here too. You For can the pick your thorax. Let's see. I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's so cute. Oh, I don't know. This reminds me of Bugs Life. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with the True Northern. Katie did. So you True made a Northern. Too. Katie did. A long antenna like these are good for sensing certain things in the environment, such as leaves for munching or nearby predators. Okay, I'm building my bug. 
That's my cute bug. Now you gotta release the bug into the swamp. Into the swamp. Let's see if it survives. And it did not. Oh, why didn't it survive? Oh, guess what? Here's what's good. In the first video we did, my bug survived. I tried to do a cute bug, but I'm sorry, bug. I didn't save you. Don't worry, we're gonna eat your brother in just coming up. No. Oh. Yes, I guess. I guess. I guess. I'm gonna try the six-legged salsa. I'm not. Are you? Six-legged salsa. We're gonna get it, then we're gonna come over salsa. here. Six-legged salsa. That's what he's trying. That sounds amazing. Eh? You gonna try it? Depending. No, I like the cookie. The cookie smells really good. Now I'm about to try my six-legged salsa. Let's see how I enjoy this. I'm a little afraid. Bottoms up. I give you credit, babe. You're very brave. And he's actually dancing. How does it taste as you're swallowing? Thank you. You want it? That was good. Honestly. So what kind of bug was it? Not sure. But it was six-legged. It was six-legged. And that was good. Look at the beautiful paddle wheel at the back. Oh, that is one of my favorite views, is be being on the boat and watching the paddle wheel on the back of the boat, seeing it up close and personal. The view, the beauty is priceless. When you guys come to New Orleans, make sure you check out one of our steamboats, our river boats. They are absolutely amazing. You can go take a jazz cruise or you can just do a cruise if you don't want to eat. Just enjoy a beautiful day out on the Mississippi River. Also, there's a lot of history they teach you about the Mississippi River. So make sure you take one of our steamboat cruises. You're going to love it. In this insectarium, you never know where you will find a piece of interactivity or, or display or exhibit. Like I said, it's even inside the tables. This is so dope. We're about to go into the butterfly garden. My wife's over here waiting too, but this is amazing. We did it when they first opened it up when we came for media night. That was fun then. And we actually saw somebody get attacked by butterflies in the cutest way possible. It was the cutest way. But she was in her glory. She's like, oh my God, I've never had a butterfly on me. And you could see that in our previous videos. You know, we showed it really quick, but uh, it's a beautiful butterfly garden. They it did is. such a beautiful job. Uh, the Audubon Institute, so get ready. We're gonna go meet all the beautiful butterflies. Cannot wait, cannot wait. Are you ready to play with the beautiful butterflies? I love this exhibit. This is so beautiful. And you get close to nature. Somebody's about that butterfly life. It's even on my way. I'm all bugged up. Yeah, she's bugging out here. <laughs> Make sure when you come here, you come see the butterfly exhibit. Even though this is at the Insectarium, they do have a small display of merchandise for Animal Crossing. You're gonna see a lot more when we go over to the aquarium after here. So this is the event we're here for the weekend. Welcome to Animal Crossing. And they also have the plushies down here. 
all of the plushies. So we're gonna head over to Animal Crossing's New Horizons so we can go do our stamp rally on day two again. We're gonna go have a great time. It was a lot of fun yesterday. We're back again to do it today. Some of y'all may not know this, but I love the Mouseketeers of the 50s and 60s. You wanna know what my favorite Mouseketeer was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Annette. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. You got your stamp, huh? Let's see your first stamp. Oh, you got it. Okay. Day two with Chapatulis. And just to let you know, he is not an albino gator. Albinos have red eyes. He doesn't have red eyes. This alligator is actually an American alligator. He's a rare white alligator who's leucistic. He lacks skin pigment, but yet he has blue eyes, which makes it so he's not albino. That's interesting. That is a very cool fact because when you see white, you automatically think albino, but he's not. But he's so cute anyway. We love him anyway. Oh, he yeah. is. Like, Day two, got two again, and I'm going to go take a picture with Tom Nook right now. Along with the normal explanation of which fish are in the tank and what they do and where they live. We have Animal Crossing characters doing it for you as well. Because Blathers here is telling you that the bluegill is incredibly common, a bit too common, depending on where, upon where you are. They eat anything that fits in their mouths and are highly adaptable. And they are the bane of fishermen in some areas. Bluegill is often the only fish to be caught, but looking in its wee beady eyes, I must say, I see no ill will in it. Thank you, Blathers, for the information. And they have a little bit more information from the aquarium staff as well saying bluegill live in freshwater ponds, lakes, and slow moving streams. They live around sunken trees, docks, and piers as well as in grass beds along with shorelines. Bluegills are sometimes called bream, panfish, or perch. They eat small insects and larvae. And you can see some of them right here. That is cool. So this is another amazing thing that the Audubon Institute does. So why am I here? This red-tailed hawk was shot in 2000 and suffered a permanent wing injury. She can no longer fly. She recovered at the LSU Wildlife and Rehab Center, but was deemed non-releasable. She has had a home at Audubon ever since. So 2000, the Audubon Institute has taken this beautiful, beautiful hawk underneath their wing. Come on, we got even more to show you here at the Audubon Aquarium Insectarium celebrating Animal Crossing New Horizons. Here comes for Blathers. Hey, Blathers. Oh, we love Blathers. Hi, Blathers. Blathers, your information giver here um, at the aquarium. I got, I got my Blathers. One more to go. Now this is one of the original parts to the aquarium before they did the renovation. So this is a really cool fact. They've always had this. When I used to come down many, many years ago to New Orleans, and we used to come visit here, this is one of my favorite things of the aquarium besides the rainforest that we're going to be coming up to. But I'm also going to show you where you can see that same hole at the bottom. You can actually see the same hole even though it's open water. I'll show you that when we get downstairs. Awesome. What? You want to jump in with the salt? Well, I understand you have an experience here that lets you go diving. There's an experience that lets you go diving in the same. And I want to do it so bad. I've heard about this a while ago since they, since we were here for the reopening and I got really excited for that because I truly would do it. I'll record you. You record? You're not going in with me? No. Nah. I'll give you a GoPro. Okay. This is the area, which is cool, is take care of the marine life here. And you can see they have the net and everything and there's a little cutoff area. So they can just get them in this area and then take care of them, do, do what they need to do and treat them like they deserve to be treated here at the Audubon Aquarium. It's their doctor's office. Aww. Yes, it's a doctor's office. Aww, that's so cute. Yeah, you're on duty yesterday. Today's my day to go pet the stingrays. Love this exhibit. You always keep a close two finger touch. Close Jen got her touch. Yeah. Did you get your touch, too? 
I got my touch. When it's all said and done, they have the hand sanitizer and the dampen so you can clean your hands. Gotta love it. Good job on that one, Aquarium. This is Jin's dream to snort to the Maya snorkel. She wants this wild encounter in her life so bad. So one day we're going to do it. And you can stand there to learn more about it because you can actually snorkel with some of the wildlife here. Yes, in Cozumel, one of the highlights in my animal world was swimming with the dolphins. No, it wasn't just let's pet a dolphin, it was swimming with the dolphins. And they have a lot of caretakers there, they make sure it's safe, they teach you education. And literally, I swam back with the dolphins to shore. It was incredible. We're gonna do a small video of that later down the road, but they were all about education and teaching you about the dolphins. It was really, really a beautiful experience. The dolphins did not get hurt. We're all about protecting our animals. Team AJ is all about that conservation, but it was a beautiful experience. And I would do it over and over again, as long as it's not hurting the animals and it's education purposes only. And this would be something that would be the same thing, educational purposes only. So, we're gonna have to check that out one day. And babe, you're coming with me if I do it. Hey, buddy. You are camera guy. We're looking at the piranha here, and Blathers has more information on the piranha. And he's telling you that he's not a fan of them because of the teeth and so forth. But they're pretty harmless, actually. And my family have had Oscars and piranhas at one point. And they are pretty harmless. This is where you come to get your photo pickup. Also, when you first come in, they do a photo op. You can take a picture. At the end of leaving the aquarium, you have the option to purchase your picture. Did you skip any stamp? It'd be pretty obvious. So remember to get your picture and take home a piece of the Audubon Institute and New Orleans with you. Okay, I'm still recording. Oh, thank you. We are going to meet Pascal. Also a programming language, but I'm going to leave the nerd talk for later. So we're excited that we completed our stamp rally the weekend. You did it, and then I did it. Yep. And together, we both did it. We both did it. And together, that makes us team AJ! Yay! Uh, this is the last one. we are about to get our prize. And guess what? Pascal, my homie, my dude, love the cap. I thank you for being awesome. Thank you for standing still and letting me take this picture with you. Oh wait, never mind. Anyways, time to go get that prize. Thank you again for Audubon Institute for having us out. And this has been an amazing experience. Time to go get the prize and show you the gift shop. Hi. Jen's got a friend in him. You got a friend in him. Hi, Fishy. You're so cute. Oh, I wish I could pet you, but I can't. 
you can spend hours and hours just looking at the beautiful fish here and then you got the stingrays and you got the penguins and you got the parrots and the birds and all kind of fish and frogs and it's really super awesome here and as you know no good attraction doesn't end without a gift shop and my wife already found something to buy. Every time we go to the zoo, I want all the plushies. Every time we come here, I want all the plushies. It's just so cute. It's a pinion. Oh, we even got a shark. And we got a baby penguin. We had so much fun with the penguin. Time for another Team AJ merchandise mode. Always imitated, but never duplicated. Come along with us as we show you the merchandise in this gift shop. This is where it's at. We have more than Animal Crossing New Horizons merchandise. They even have the activity book, along with even more of the character plushes over here, the aquarium gift shop. Look at this. These are some of the cutest plushes. Oh, that is adorable. Along with those insectarium aquarium being one price now, we also want to let you know you pay $10 more, pay $49.95, you get the zoo included too. And that's an amazing deal, because for $10 more, you get all three experiences. And as we just recently did the aquarium and the zoo, along with the sectarium. Trust me, you're gonna to wanna to do that. Get yourself an Uber, go from here to the zoo in one day, or actually make it two days. It's an event, make it happen. Do it for yourself because you're gonna love it. Anyways, now that we have everything filled out, we got all our stamps. We talked to Isabel, Tom Nook, Gladys, and Pascal, my favorite program language. God, I'm a nerd. Anyways, let's now turn this in and get our prize. Okay. Jen got her prize yesterday. So we have options. We have yes, three yes. options. What are our options? We have Isabel. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> Blathers. Doom, doom, doom. And Tom Nook. Oh. And him. Yeah. And him. Him. Yeah. So, so I, I got mean. Isabel yesterday. What are you getting today? Oh, I am getting my stamp first. My um, cut my punch out. And to start today, yesterday it was like a crab, I think it was. It was a turtle. Turtle, that's what it was. A turtle. Yeah. Now we have like a flower type thing. Yes. So, as you see there. So now, which one I'm gonna pick? I was just telling you, I like to consider myself to be very intelligent at times, even though I fail a lot of times. Just for now, that kind of fail. So what we're gonna do is stick with Blathers, the wise owl. This is my main man, Blathers. This is all I wanted, was a Blathers fit. Now my day is complete. So guys, we met some awesome people here at the Audubon Aquarium that are also visiting from Houston. So who are you guys? I'm Travis and this is my wife Autumn. Oh, so nice to meet you. So you guys came out from Houston to New Orleans. Why? So I come here for my birthday to the Animal Crossing oh. uh, event here at the, the aquarium. First Today's of all, your birthday? Mm. happy birthday. That's it. <laughs> oh, very nice. We didn't know that. Yep. Okay. The big 30. Oh, wow. three zero, yes. Okay, you're a baby still. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry, not, you haven't hit that midlife yet. Yeah. <laughs> so have you been to New Orleans before? In the past, but I've okay. only seen just a little bit, mostly like Jackson Square and things okay. like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so what do you think of New Orleans? I, oh, it's, it's nice. So mm -hmm. There's nothing like it, right? No, the food is amazing, yeah, so okay. get as much food as we can. Okay. Uh, definitely here for sightseeing, not really for, you know, Bourbon Street or anything like that, because okay. we have a little one, but Aww. mainly okay. just for food, this, and okay. sightseeing. So guys, we came to an end for our first weekend of the Stamp Rally here at the Audubon Aquarium and Insectarium. What did you guys think? We had a great time, right on? Yes, this was awesome, yo. Mm -hmm. This is, I love this. I hope they bring it back. I hope they come back around. Mm -hmm. Keep doing this every year. This is gonna be amazing. So, I know my wife um, enjoyed it immensely too on her day, which was Saturday. Yeah, so I got the stamp card on Saturday. He got it on Sunday. We were here for two days. A big thank you to the Audubon Institute for having us out. This was such an honor to be able to be here and show the world this amazing event in our city. Second of all, we want to give a shout out to the Louisiana cosplayers that we were with on Saturday. Yes, we found out they were here when we got here. We're like, wait, we see our friends. And we hung out with them and had a great time. 
and it was so good to see you guys. Sunday was the LA Furs. We love the Furs, aren't they the cutest too? We love all our friends, the cosplayers. Thank you to Nintendo for putting this on as well. And we appreciate every one of you for watching. And thank you for everyone that wanted to be part of our video. We're always truly grateful for all of you. So with that said, and lazy late, bon ton roulé. Let the good times roll. Also feel free to check out our videos from the reopening of the aquarium and insectarium from last year. Hope you guys enjoy it. We hope to see you in our city of New Orleans very soon. And we hope to see you at the Audubon Institute.